So the condition we're working with today is plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is an inflammation of the connective tissue band on the bottom of the foot. It connects the heel and all the way out into the toes. It often gets inflamed for several different reasons. A lot of times it could be just overpronation. Some of the things you may be looking for is when you get up in the morning, it's very painful to stand on your foot, but then the pain tends to go away as you walk and stretch out the foot. So it tends to be okay after you stretch it out in the morning, but it can actually get worse as you go on throughout the day. Another telltale sign of plantar fasciitis is pain at the base of the heel on the medial side. It'll be point tender in that area. One of the other things that you can look for is limited extension on the big toe of the affected foot. So the first thing that we're going to start with is to warm up the tissues. It's always good to warm up the tissues before you start. I'm just going to use some compression strokes on the bottom of the foot. The main goal here is to increase the blood flow to the area. Introduce your touch to your client. and it just generally feels good. You're gonna to have to adjust your pressure according to the amount of pain that your client has. You can use a pain scale of zero to 10, where zero is no pain, and 10 would be time to go to the emergency room. It's best to stay at about a seven on that pain scale, no more than an eight and you're going to actually probably have to adjust your pressure according to your client's pain tolerance. After you thoroughly warm up the bottom of the foot, you can start with some more specific strokes. And one of the strokes that I like to use is just a glide with a loosely clenched fist. You can also use the heel of your hand. It might be a little bit lighter if there's a lot of tension in the bottom of the foot. You can do a little bit of a knuckle roll with a loosely clenched fist in a figure eight pattern. technique I'm going to use is a spreading stroke to the bottom of the foot. It helps to spread out the fibers. If there's any cross connections forming in the fibrous tissue, can break those up. You can use your thumbs this way or you can also use your thumbs cross using a pulling technique easier on the thumbs doing it this way. Cover that surface of the foot several times. I'm not going to give you a specific number, it's just sometimes you just have to go by how it feels. We need to make sure that we use caution in this area because it is an area of point tenderness. I'm going to do a little bit of cross fiber frictioning around the base of the heel. Remember to avoid the point tender areas. You can also use a braced finger.
Again, I may need to lighten my pressure according to where I am working on the heel. I'm gonna continue my frictioning of the bottom of the foot. I'm gonna do a circular frictioning stroke with my thumb. I'm going to use a brace thumb, because again, we need to protect our tools, our tools being our hands. I'm just gonna do some deep circular friction. There are several layers of intrinsic muscle underneath the fascia that can be binding or sticking together. You need to get in deep to also get those muscle fibers to spread out. You can also use a knuckle. It's always good to switch up your tools and I'm just gonna continue with this stroke all the way to the ball of the foot. I'm going to finish this up by doing some lengthening strokes. It's always good to start and finish with lengthening strokes. In the beginning, my lengthening strokes were with a loosely clenched fist. Now, in the end, you can get in a little bit deeper and more specific. As you do your work, you're going to actually work lighter to deeper with your pressure. And again, finish it up with some really nice broad strokes. Now I'm going to work the ball of the foot, pretty much using the same strokes that I used previously. Do some spreading, spreading with the heels of the hands. You can also use your thumbs. We can do a little frictioning here also. Again, that fascia runs all the way from the bottom of the heel or calcaneus to the base of the toes. We're still getting into that tissue here. And friction at the base of the toes, right where they attach to the metatarsals. You should also get out into the toes, do a little bit of tractioning of the toes. Work the toes, work the sides of the toes. Again, you can traction the toes, apply some frictioning. We can finish this up with a stretch for the fascia. I'm going to bring the foot up. I'm going to hold the heel in place. I'm going to extend all the toes while I hold the heel in place. So I'm extending the toes and dorsiflexing the ankle. Hold it for about 10 seconds and then rest and then repeat. Finish it up with a few light knuckle rolls. Work the heel a little bit. That concludes our treatment for today. Thanks for watching.